Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New Zealand, where a sovereign citizen attempts the right to travel argument and all that other BS. But, well, it ends up falling flat and he ends up getting arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I don't have a license, James. You people know that. Sorry? I, I failed to mention that this is Mark Thompson, one of New Zealand's uh, leading sovereign citizens, or should I say sovereigns, because he likes to quote New Zealand laws, but really doesn't uh, go into too much depth about it, because you know what? He tends to cherry pick like any other sovereign citizen would, which he will be cherry picking the New Zealand Transportation Act here shortly. In fact, he says he doesn't have a driver's license at this point, and according to the New Zealand Transportation Act, uh, Section 5, you are most certainly supposed to have a driver's license, dumbass. And, well, there are other talking points that you'll point out, but we'll take a look at those when you bring them up, okay? No, you, 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 you should uh, know me. Would you like to see my paperwork? I just, by the way, can I read, can I read your rights, James? Do you... I, I, yeah, it's fine. I I'll read your answer. rights. No, 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 I need to read your rights. Do you have the right to remain silent? Yep. You have the right not to do anything. You have the right to get in your car and bugger off back to wherever you've come from, yes. okay? Yep. You, that's your right? Yep. If you fail to exercise those rights, you are liable, James, in the private, to $100 a minute for detaining me. Are you, are you detaining me at the minute? Wow, $100 per minute? Uh, that's quite cheap. I've heard of a million dollars an hour or something like that with other soft hearts. But, but fee schedules generally don't work anyway because, well, you're never going to collect a single dime off of them anyway. In fact, it's often you idiots that have to pay into the system because of your stupidity. So, yeah, it's not going to work. Yes. You are detaining me, thank you. Right, um, okay, you're liable $100 a minute. This has been served on your... Uh, you can send me the bill, I don't care. Do you have your license on you? I do not have a license, Do James. you have any form of ID on you? I have this, yes. Here you go. Is this your legal name? No, this is my lawful name, Mark. So here it is. We're served on your boss. The person acting as the minister of the police back at the time, Poto Williams. Notice... Uh, Do you have a service? That the law of agent oh. as principal applies. Yep. And service your... upon one is service upon all. That's service right. on you, James. You the fact to... that you do not... I do not need to do anything. I don't even need to talk to you. You need to provide... I do not need details. to do anything. Well, uh, my New Zealand soft-hard friend, uh, you really re should read over the New Zealand tra uh, Transportation Act again, considering it does say that you have to provide your license when you are asked to do so. And I'm sure there are consequences to those inactions should you decide to do them, which you're about to experience that firsthand. Good luck with that. I do not need to do anything. You need to provide me with your I do not need to do anything. What under what law do I need to do to the to, Land Transport Act? If you fail the to Land give me my Transport Act does not apply to me. If you're on land and you're transporting, you're I'm not land. On, I'm not transporting. You're on land? I am on land. Yeah, cool, sweet. But I'm not you... the act only applies to the Crown. This act buys the Crown. Section three of the Act, James. Have you read the Act? Yes. Well, Section three does say that, but uh, this is a special uh, piece that binds it to the crown because, well, here's the explanation that the New Zealand websites give as far as that goes. I mean, basically what it is is that uh, in certain cases, if it's not even mentioned in a law, then it really doesn't apply to government officials. But seeing as how in this particular one uh, says in Section 3 that this does apply to the Crown, basically meaning that this is binding the government officials to this. So, so basically, this law applies to everybody within the country of New Zealand, not just the average citizen, but the... Uh, 
government workers as well. But why don't you go try that in the courts and see how well it works and see how far it gets you. I seriously doubt that you would be able to get away with that argument. But please, feel free to try it. Okay, so what does Section 3 say? You this act binds the... Are you not going to give me your details? This act binds the... Are you the... not going to give me your details? I, I'm giving you my details. Here they are, here. What's your last name? I don't have a last name. My, my name is Mark. All right. Your last chance to give me your details or you're getting arrested. I'm getting arrested. Yeah. Because... You I... have... Answer it now. I don't have a last name, cool. James. You're under arrest for failing to provide details. I have provided details. Right, the details are right in front of me. The details are wrong. I've got a Down syndrome boy yeah, here. You're under arrest, sir. I'm under arrest. Okay, well, yeah. you're arresting. Yeah, shame on you for using a Down syndrome child to try to get around being arrested uh, for your own stupidity. Yeah, a typical coward. That's what you are. You didn't want to face the consequences of you being wrong, so you brought along a uh, shield just in case. You failed, and it didn't work out for you. So now you're going to have to try this out in the courts, and I am sure you will be eaten alive by the judge when he asks you why you failed to un understand the law properly. And there will be nothing to shield you from your little explanation right there. And uh, yeah, the judge will not have it because I'm sure he studied the law a lot longer than you have so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one